Now we're going to do an airplane problem from the very beginning. Okay, notice I'm making the picture rather large because you tend to add lots of detail to it. First, okay, I'm going to put the wind. Okay, I start with its direction, which is start at south and go 33 degrees towards west. The wind is blowing from, so it must be going towards the origin. And the length of this vector is the speed of that wind. Now I'm going to place my airspeed. Okay. Airspeed is what the plane thinks it's traveling. So I'm going to start at south and go 75 degrees towards east. Okay, it's traveling in that direction, so the arrow is pointing away from the origin. And the length of this is the 325 miles per hour. Now, remember that we must match the picture. I have wind tip to tail with airspeed. So ground speed must go from the tail of wind to the tip of airspeed. Let's call this side C. It's going to be our ground speed. Okay. And the first thing is to actually find the length of that vector, which was not given to us as it was in the previous example. Okay. You always are going to use law of cosines for this. So C will be the square root of the 35 squared plus the 325 squared minus, minus twice, 35, 325, cosine of the angle opposite C, which is 33 plus 75 in this case, or 108 degrees, okay? So my ground speed turns into 337.46, and it's miles per hour. Don't forget the units. That was the easy part. So now I know this, 337.46. Now I'm going to try and find bearing. So I'm going to the tail of the vector I want the bearing of, drawing a new set of coordinate axes. Okay. First of all, I want to find this angle of the triangle, which we'll call A. You almost always use law of sines for this. Now, in this case, I don't have to go backwards and find this one first. Because notice that this angle is opposite the 325, which is not the biggest side. Additionally, we already have an angle of 108 degrees here. A triangle cannot have more than one obtuse angle. So we know that A is acute since the 108 degree angle was obtuse. Okay, so it must, and they must add up to 180. I can't fit another obtuse angle in there. So I'm going to be using sine of A over the 325 is sine of the 108 over the 337.46. Okay. I solve this for A, making sure my calculator is in degree mode, and get 66.34 degrees. Now for step three of finding a bearing. What I really want is an angle from the north-south line to this vector, meaning I really want this angle right here. Okay, so I know this part of it. If I can tell this part, then I'll be able to use the fact that they all add up to 180 to get the one I really want. Notice that this angle here is the same as that angle, okay, because we have parallel lines cut by a diagonal. So this angle is 33 degrees. So together, the 33 degrees, the angle A, and the angle I want add up to 180 degrees. So my angle is 180 degrees minus 33 minus A, or 80.66 degrees. Okay? Now, I just have to add directional markers. This is starting at south, going 88.66 degrees towards east. Once again, just a warning, make your picture sufficiently large that you have plenty of room to maneuver and that you can always recognize where things are and what angles are which.